I am back, ladies and gentlemen. I actually didn't take a break this time, but I just want to notice we have a decent sized army right here. They're not very well equipped, I'm gonna say, but you know, at least we have an army, eh? Cheng Ye. Uh, it's a pretty bad army. Um, hold a speech in parliament. Um, uh, how many of us have a simple majority? Well, we don't have a simple majority. Um, engage in lobbying measures. Um, um, hmm. Um, okay, we're going to the national focus here. The LSG debate. With the passage of the Chin Antitrust Act, Lan Fang Xia Gongzi has begun the desperate campaign to ensure its continuing existence, even at the cost of the nation's government. A large debate has begun in Parliament, with the debacle possibly leading to the continuation of the Dula Deng or the ascension of the Remini Wenhill. Okay, let's get started. Well, actually, you know, we have to do infrastructure first. Or, I don't know. He said infrastructure later, so we don't have very many. We don't have very many factories, do we? We really don't. Not very many factories. Well, let's just go with construction. Uh, we're going to try and probably conquer Mr. Whatever his name is of the army eventually. It's going it's to happen. Believe me, it's going to happen. Anyway, let's get started. It's going to take another 35 days, and I have no idea what I'm going to talk about within these 35 days. Um, rampant lobbying in the LSG. Um, the passing of the Antitrust Act has created a shockwave within Parliament. It stands in between the LSG law and the massive lobbying efforts by the LSG itself. Of course, while we could simply call it the rampant corruption among the ranks, which would rally many representatives, it would also mean so soaring the people's opinion on Parliament and actually make the LSG representatives break ranks. Um, corruption is no place in Land Fang. Yes, I'm going to go with this, you know. I'm, I'm not taking any risk. I'm, no risk. Um, because we're gonna gain that political power back with the people who support us, so you know that's that's a plus. Uh, lockyards, so let's go with convoy. Let's go with convoy. Um, the LSG debate. So, hopefully, they support us. That's, that's my hope. Debate over LSG turns sour. Among the final round of debates, LSG, a large fire broke up between residents of Romania, which is the Dulin thing originally. <laughs> Reminin Wihulani in the Duladang. I have no idea how to say his name, I'm sorry. Or originating, originating from a hurling of insults from the from the Duladang. Regardless of what was said, it's unfortunate to keep who the name is whose fault. Or can blame the. Um, we're just gonna, we're gonna take more loose book of our Blame the Duladang. Sure. We're, we're going to take our supporters where we can find them. The fate of the LSG. The LSG is a massive wall conglomerate that has done nothing but bolster out the oil industry while draining the nation's general wealth. After a lengthy debate, the LSG anthem and the antitrust acts finally passing the final vote and final vote has been made. Um, man, unruly. The LSG is broken up. Um, wow, that's going to help us quite a lot. Um, quite a lot indeed. Study the Karamata Strait. The sea between Langban and ba Batavia may be the most intense places for trade right now. Trade between us and these nations is is a nigh risky, but, but outside the trade of Sing with Singapore, if we can actively patrol. I don't know what we're saying, but whatever. Let's do it. Let's do it. We don't have very much support, sadly, but you know, be what it be. We lost some support, but you know, we're going to gain our political power back. So, you know, broken up. Um. So this is pretty decent. This gives us consumer goods minus five percent, which is pretty decent. I'm gonna have to say, fortify the coast. Let's fortify the coast, I guess. Um. Next thing, next thing I'm gonna do is I uh, can't do that. Can with political advisors, I'll just pick a random political advisor. I guess I don't know. We'll see. Um. So the dang media campaign successful. Um, a recent pro Dula Dang media campaign has led a number of representatives within the opposition to support us, citing a number of issues in the opposition that led them to break off. Much of it being said in the media campaign, whether or not they truly believe they are trying to save face in the next election, the opposition has nonetheless, nonetheless lost support. Damn good media campaigns. Up to 20 will support, or 30, sorry, will support us. So that's 150, so we end up gaining about almost 15, almost 20. Um, so it's not, not too bad. Um, these are bases. What are these? Um, fortify the coast. 
Most of Rhode Island, who cares? I, I, I do not care. While the Daishi Sandy is an extremely insignificant of relying to complete, completely on the Netherlands for support, we cannot take any risks. Laying bang, other coastal cities to fortify in the event of an invasion. Um, the border that separates Lan Fang from the Dutch and often characterized by Western critics is undefined. Okay, Paul, well, these are just fortifications. Who really cares? I I don't. I'm not, I would read it to you, but it's just telling us we need fortifications. And that's wonderful, wonderful and all that. No, I'm not, I'm not, I couldn't care too much. I, I'm gonna be honest with you. I, I couldn't care. The death of Hu Hanin, oh, Italy, also just took Ethiopia. A sad day passes over Lanfeng. Hu Hanin, president of Lanfeng, one of the most influential hacker Chinese men in Asia, has died. From what his doctors say, he died of brain bleed, which took his life quickly last night. An advocate for strict independence from the Western powers, he ensured the nation's integrity to his death. In the wake of his death, his protege, Shen Langzhong, has assumed the leadership of Dula Deng, and by extension, extended to the president. While he is Hanem's protege, he's immediately denounced Hanem's isolation as false. He's called for a reopening of the economy, the end of an era, era for the Dula Deng. Um, he's not ferocious liberal. He's pretty decent, actually. He's pretty decent. He's not too bad, I'm gonna say. We still have support, and he's pretty decent. We got him political power. Pretty decent. I'm not, I'm not gonna say it's bad at all, man. I'm not gonna say it's bad at all. Air exercises, relative new form of fighting, naval exercises, land fang, jungle exercises, blah, blah, blah. Um, shit is not bad. This is, we're doing, we have terrible stability, so that's not exactly great. The 1936 election. It's been since 1890 an election. Every two years has been held in the country. People from the countryside to the city, so come to the polls to officially vote for the party they believe should lead the nation to 1938. What makes this election contentious is the LSG debacle. What started off as an unexpected passing of the antitrust legislation became one of the biggest political fallouts to the Dula Dang. With the spectacles being made of Roman and Wayland or the bolster general distrust of Dula Dang and subsequent attempts at Dula Dang to ensure Roman and Wayland into a political hell has ultimately ended with the political scene being divided between the party and with an uncertain future. The Dula Dang party has this managed to make a name for itself for recent, recent years than Roman and Wayland. I think why the elections and held the results are the winner is the Dula Dang. Well, um, the Dula Dang wins. Yay! Um, um, um I guess we're gonna. Finalize the budget. Oh, we, could, we could do this, but um, seeking the taunt. Remember the third. Um, um, let's go. Let's go. Let's let's do this first. Let's let's put let's put get our troops in order. Um. Burst industry. We still have some support. We have we have a hundred. We do not have a lot of support at the moment, so that's that's not wonderful. Um, Tang Imbro falls ill. Well, more money for the army then. I I guess like, for part of it. Damn D campaigns. Well, that's no good. Um, air exercises, naval exercises. Remember the third, um, third Kung-Zi War for Borneo, um, K-N-I-L, recruit the Posey Hawks, diplomats, and, um, Evil exercises, a meeting in Lingang. Chen Li, and this is actually seems to be interesting. Chen, Chen Yi and Kai Ting Kai, Ting Kai, Ting Kai, have been called in for a private meeting with Chen Langzhong. The president holds authority over the military actions of Lan Feng, so such meet, so, so so such a meeting is not out of the ordinary. However, it's important. The fracture of the possible conflict of the Dutch East Indies inches every day. We must we must be ready for the day it comes. Um. I would hold a speech, but I don't think it's worth it. Extremist tightrope. I am uh, the extremist tightrope. Um.
strong enough to take power. So essentially, we can get the National Socialists. Very interesting. Um, uh, a meeting of Ling Bang, uh, t Berneo, um, Chin, uh, who we gonna go with? Remember the third? Kai, Ting Kai. Okay, tensions and Bernie are starting to boil over once more. We may be able to stop things from getting out of hand. Chen Lingzhong is up a meeting between Chen Yi and Kai Ting Kai. Chen Yi, already well known diplomat and field marshal, is just poking the Dutch East Indies before war breaks out. Chen Kai Ching Kai, a police chief turned general, suggests preemptively striking them or they'll warn them. Both have their positive and negatives, but they said opposite is the problem, so we can only choose one most guilty end. Kai Ting Kai, remember the third. It's not the probably this will give us stability probably, but this is you know this gives us manpower. That's something. It's wonderful. Who doesn't love manpower? Who, who doesn't? You know, manpower is wonderful. Manpower is absolutely wonderful. Um, so this is going, this is going pretty decent. I'm gonna say this is going actually pretty decent. We're gonna we have to recruit the hawks, and then we can finally stage an incident. It's going pretty pretty decent. I'm gonna say. Um, at the moment, um. Yeah, so, I mean, I don't know what to say. How can it... Oh, stop breaking ranks. Follow my bills, okay? We're losing so much support. Uh, it's time to come. Kai Ten Kai is attacking the West. Kyle Mustan will commence. Um, where the hell is what? West. Okay, so yeah. We seem... We'll do... Um, I'm, I'm sure we'll win, right? You know? I'm sure of it. Yeah, we'll definitely. Totally. Completely. Yeah, man. I'm not afraid of a couple of Dutch guys. No, no, no. National Spain. Declare war on Spain. Figurehead president, interesting. Land the Riff, Mr. Jose. Find it interesting all the portraits, like you can tell like, when the portraits are. I like the original portraits, even though the Spanish ones are pretty decent. Um, the Kalmatan incident. It was dirty break. King Kai Ting Kai was the back of a truck, riding back to Psychedelo, making sense of the situation. He truly believed a bunch of hawkish men could take on the Dutch season, but no, what happened was a massacre. Under equipped militias, riding high, firing the KNI on to rally to hit. A good chunk of the quickly enlisted men were killed. All those left was the gentleman's men running with their tails between their legs. Um, what went wrong? Um. Well. That didn't go well. I'm just gonna say that that did not go well at all. We we at least have the men, right? You know, we may not have the stability, but we have the men. Um, can we can we pass the budget? No. Can let's do that and let's start working on passing the budget. <sighs> Ten. That's nothing, right there. The Kane Isle, can the final chapter of the Kong Z Wars. Um. Well, is this how we end? The Fourth Kongzi War. In the middle of rising tensions between the Chinese state and Borneo, and the colony in the Netherlands, and the region, the Kan Isle have crossed the border in the Polish Isle. With school skirmishes between the two states for the last year, the buildup of both Kan Isle and the National Army of Land Fang soon spilled into the open war. The Netherlands have refused to comment on the situation in Borneo and the war's controversy that many of the nation in protests and attempt to extend the Dutch East Indies against the nation as powerful as other European nations. In Land Fang, many citizens and officials calling the invasion of the Fourth Kongzi War. Just crush him, boys. We got this. If we can crush him, you know, it'll be wonderful. I don't know if we'll be able to crush him. You know, we're gonna try. We're gonna try. Got tank, so you know, that's a plus, right? You know. The Marines, let's bring them over here. Media campaigns. What's this? Knock him out, boys. We got this. We're gonna starve the Dutch. Then in the handman's grip, um, fascist clique, uh, 30 representatives, and our leaders, blah, blah, blah. We're, we're gonna crush them, boys. We got this. We are in the world. We got this.
Here we go, boys. There we go. How many of these Dutch troops? We're actually winning against the Dutch. I'm surprised. We're doing this. But we're doing it. Um, we've done it. The Dutch have been beaten away from Lin Feng. We've successfully defended the nation from imperialism. Never again we proclaim to cross the Kabuz River and assure that the future of the nation's sovereignty, when skilled for future riches, no longer will be left to deal with a greater foe. For we, for we have become that foe. This is Lin Feng, and this is Lin will defend or die trying. The bright future lies ahead. Um, um, yes, we got stability, too. Looking at the armies from Britain. Um, well, that's wonderful. Um, meeting with him to... Well, this kind of sucks, so we can't do that. Um, let's do this. The Second Treaty of Singapore. After intense fighting between the KNIL and the National Army of Lanfeng in West Kalimantan, province representatives from Batavia and Ling Bain have met in Singapore to discuss a ceasefire in terms of peace with Lanfeng forces having... Having Lanfeng forces having consil nearly considered control for West Kalimantan and thrusting a push for them in Brunei, or was some Batavia moved for the white peace between two states. When well, Chris Collins refused to the situation, Chen Lin Collins called a ceasefire, a victory for Lanfeng, and victory against Western imperialism, as well as announcing plans for a new military development. A victory today is a victory forever. Sadly, we don't get Western Kalimantan, but you know, be what it be. Be what it be. We actually did. I'm, so, I'm happy though. We, we did manage to. We're gonna have a victory, and we're gonna have uh, up to. So we're not gonna have up so. Hmm. So we're gonna need. Hey, oh gosh, that's my thing finally finished from before, before. Um. So that's what you just heard. I'm making another video at the moment, so that's what you just heard in the background. Isn't it wonderful? I'm sure it is. I was Trump making a. I really want to get some music videos. It's been my dream to do that for a long time. I think we're gonna do it with the Strange Animal by Goen. It's gonna be very, very beautiful. I think I think you're gonna love it. I think when you see it, you're gonna absolutely love it. Meeting with industrial leaders. Um, um but still engage in lobbying measures. Uh, look for looking at the armies of Britain. Um, look at the armies of Britain. Let's do that, sure. In the aftermath of the Force Kongs, we were found ourselves somewhat behind when it came to defending against the undisplayed army. The British have undergone new military exercises, and perhaps local elections were in our favor. Luck was on our side. Well. Do we need to do this right now? Oh, we still don't have enough support, so let's let's wait. This will be this will be fine. We'll have enough time to do this, and then we can go to the next one. Uh, it's fine. It's fine. Um, let's go, guys. Let's get y'all. We I can't believe how many we just wrecked the Dutch. The Dutch just got absolutely washed over. It was, it was Really quite beautiful, I have to say. I was I was quite proud of my men. I was quite proud of them. Um, I have to say, I was very proud of my men in Lanfang. They did a wonderful job of taking out the Dutch. And the Dutch are now putting forces back on us, but I don't think they're going to have very many. So, you know, it's one good thing. Well, they don't have Focus 3 either. Anyway, um, looking at the armies from Britain, how long is this? This is already... Done. Hmm. Interesting. We already we hold not a super majority, but we do hold a majority in Parliament at the moment. Repeal the Tariff Act. Um. Kai Ting Kai, letter from Tang Lingang. Thailand guy, leader of the Zhong Tan, pushed forward a post over Bell. Obey a strong bill leads us down dangerous path of fascist acceptance. Um, could to forward his path out of structure a new bill, being standing behind the military equipment and certainly national security. We're going to repeal the 
Repeal, re repeal of the 1932 Tariff Act. The 1932 Tariff Act was part of Hu Hanem's more independent isolationist policies, meant to protect the nations from foreign influence. But while policies negative like existence of the Third Kong Zia War, which is exactly why the nations was entirely affected by the Depression, the need to elevate the nation's wealth must now take precedent over economic protection of the nation. Controversial bill passes through bar Parliament. Um, Introduced to the floor, while its goals generate some controversy, the contents of the bill are not important. The um, bills that are members to break ranks veto the bill. Um, yeah, we're just gonna be. We can take. We can take a hit. We can take a hit. We can't take a hit. Yeah, because we get the political power back through Parliament. So it's a nice, wonderful thing. Um, that is the beautiful thing. We get our stuff back through Parliament, and boom, bada bang, it just. It's working like a charm. Four out of five, so we we'll finally get a bell civilian factory. We need more. We need a bell, an army of civilian factories. Uh, modernization of the army. Army attack. We have pretty decent stuff, though, I have to say. We're not too bad. Bastion of Independence. Minus 50. Uh, so I wish we didn't have that minus 0.50 political power. That's one thing I have to say. That's not helpful to us in any way, shape, or form. Um. Repealment of the act, concerns over national security. Let's do finalizing the budget. Repealment of the act, 1932 Tariff Act um, was part of Hu Hanem's more independent isolationist policies meant to protect the nations from foreign influence. While well, policies like in resistance to the Third Kong Zia War will bar repealing the act, final votes are repealment of act that says pass. Um, finalizing the budget. Do we still have support? We barely have enough, so let's let's just go for it. 10% stability. Let's let's do it. Let's do it. Uh, that sucks. We don't have the support from that anymore. So we only have three factories on the work. That's fine. Be able to be. Or the random one will much more worse than the progressive. Oh, blah. National Securities Act. We're gonna have to get our support back in Parliament slowly but surely. And we're gonna do it. We're gonna do the lobbying measures probably because it'll give us just enough support to get across major scandals in the party. Pl drop the political power. We can take the hit. Um, probably should have done this guy. He would have been very helpful. Um, we're back and back. He was not great. He's not terrible though. He's not terrible. He's not wonderful. He's just okay. Um, finalizing the budget. We're gonna have a lot of enemies. Um, complete. Uh, seriously, this is this is very annoying. Um, so let's do the short one. If we get ten support, uh, we'll get. Let's develop the sparse regions. We get that ten. We get the support from this. We're getting enough to complete the. Hopefully, they'll give us just barely enough to political power gain to regional defense council of Aragon. Interesting. The Anarcho Carmune. Um. There we go. Complete favors representatives. Engage in political lobbying. Lobbying measures. Um, can't do much else, sadly. Um, we'll try and do something else next time, though, um, so we can do that. Should we probably might, might do this first? Civilian factories. Let's do civilian factory. Well, let's do let's fund urban development. We have the, we have, we do have the aluminum, so maybe not. We do have aluminum, so let's go with Invigorate Polozau. If we Invigorate Polozau, um, that would be, be too bad, because, I mean, we do need it anyway, so. It's always a plus, it's always a plus. Um, improve machine tools. Let's get, um, Disperse Industry 3. That's, I love this person Industry 3. This is great also, but built do donations from traction. Um, up to 30, donate all of it. I'll take the political power hit power hit for the support. And we gain a lot of support. Actually we gain quite a lot of support. So 
I'm not too worried. I think we'll be able to finish just, just in time to get a letter from Tang Ligua in the National Securities Act. Wang Si Kleet joins Chinese United Front. The Chinese United Front forms. The United Front forms. Interesting. Very interesting. Um, the Hindenburg Incident. U.S. Congress passes Neutrality Act. The Neutrality Act. I don't know. This is not historical focuses. I don't know why the Hindenburg didn't get destroyed, but it'll be what it be. Um, hold speech in Parliament. They seek strength in numbers. Um, we have decent. I'm, I'm glad we have a supermajority, which is very, very important. Um, hmm. It's just, I really want this. If this gets done quickly, we can actually start getting things done. Hmm. Which is gonna take us about half a year to get. Maybe. Might be doing my math wrong. Very good chance of that. Let's do early mob. Um. It's not wonderful, but. Eh, no, we're getting decent blue power a day. So. Early mob is gonna be very helpful. Very, very helpful. Fun steel development for the development of the jungle, which gives us one military reactor and then a lot of oil and rubber, which is absolutely beautiful. Donate, donate, donate all of it. We have, we can, we can, we can take it a hit too. Plus, I mean, we gain two hundred support, so which is, let me know. Every single representative is supporting us. It's, it's beautiful. It's, it's perfect. Millie Arhart, Sergeant Alexander, the Americans and the Germans is having a wonderful time. Indivision in Asia, I don't know, I don't know what the Americans are doing. The Great Purge, Tanatuva, political commissars, mechanization effort. Interesting, very, very interesting. Um, further development of the jungle, the leadership purges in the Soviet Union. China and Japan are at war. Um, um, many have wondered where the day would come and fall. China and Japan are finally at war with one of the old homeland, our brothers across the ocean are under attack, and if we do not help them, they will very well fall under the ja Japanese jackboot. Many already know the right decision is send volunteers, equipment, everything we can do before China ports to While other nations, many across China, but we must join the war and help them at all costs. However, there are many, many, some reasons, perhaps many, that we cannot get involved. Because one of these reasons, Japan, the rising sun, could very well attack us for supporting them. While it's very true that we could be gaining their ire for helping China expand to the war for its south could also cut out Japan from vital resources and from the western powers like oil. However, the fears have spread in the world we cannot we can either help China or stay silent. Um, yeah, well, I'm gonna stay silent. I, I want to preserve our stability. As much as it would be fun to help China out, the help of the Soviets. I'm, I'm not I'm not not stressing over it. I'm not stressing over it. Mr. Chen Lungzhou, the ferocious liberal, he ain't the ferocious line line liberal. He ain't doing it. He ain't doing it. He's gonna stay here, and he's gonna, he's gonna chillax. He's gonna, he's gonna chillax. Um, 5th of December, so these, for only this amount of factories, we're going pretty fast. I mean, I have to say, for the amount of civilian factories we have actually on production, it's going pretty darn well. I'm gonna have to say, it's going pretty darn well. Um, after we finish this, I'm gonna probably upload these two videos. And then I might just go to bed. Um, that's probably what I'm gonna do, actually. I'll also go to bed after I pull those two videos. Um, concerns on national security and new bill to expand executive powers. Um, the new bill's passed through parliament will give the president a bit more power concerning the development of the nation. Extremely controversial bill, and many will have done with that. Means we're setting out only opposition of our own party. However, more power does need a better chance of having the nation better developed in the future. Use the powers to the bill of its extent. Use only seems it's less. It's really not a hard choice. It's just you know, it's just basically more political power, less political power. You can choose. I'm gonna choose less if I get less representatives against me. Leng Shengai, leader of the Jingdang, um, has pushed forward a proposal for the world. Me a stronger bill may least sound dangerous past the fascist, fascist, fascistic acceptance. I don't know. I don't really care if he's fascist. He can be fascist all he wants. You know, he's a great guy. Wonderful, wonderful fascist. The good fascist, Mr. Uh, yeah, Mr. Dangling guy. I mean, as much as I love Kai, um, Kai didn't do a good job. Kai kind of sucked. I mean, Kai kind of, kind of didn't do very well in, um, West Kalimantan. Even though we won in the end, it wasn't because of Kai. Kai didn't, Kai didn't do well. 
kind kind of kind kind of sucks. I'm just gonna be honest with you. Kind kind of sucks. Um, Nationals, Spain. Looks like the Nationals. I gotta win quite quickly. They probably need to fix that in Spain. I don't know why the National or the Regional Defense Council always, always, I mean always, comes into play. The need to ensure the sovereignty of the nation, the continuation of the Dooladang, a political powerhouse must continue. However, the economy should not ensure, should, should not ensure this. So instead, politics itself should ensure the status quo. Um, awesome. Very great. Wonderful. 187, as long as there's no big... You know, terrible thing that happens. We'll basically build the pass the National Security Act, and that'll be wonderful. A rally in Ling Bang. Um, um, if we can keep this up, we'll be sure to win the next election. Um, yes. How many sports do we have? 196. Fantastic. Uh, we're gonna pass this easy peasy. Um, uh, maybe we might have a couple sports don't like us, and you know. Manuel, I love that portrait. Manuel just looks like so wonderful. I love I, FDR. Hey, you know, that's done too. You know, it's done. My stuff is actually finishing, which is wonderful. Wonderful processing, which is absolutely, absolutely wonderful. And after this, we pass this. We will. Are we done with? Um, no, we're not. We're gonna gain. We'll get some more. We're gonna get some more factories, which is I would love to. Not to get some more factories. I'm just gonna get more factories. Um, the National Securities Act. The need to ensure the sovereignty of the nation and the continuation of the dual thing as the new political powerhouse must continue. However, the economy should not ensure this. Instead of policy, blah blah blah, pass the Voting and Votes and Customs Security Act is passed. Um, fantastic. Um, well. I think we're going to end the episode here. I hope you all have a wonderful wonder day. Love you all. Goodbye, and see you all next time. Goodbye. See ya next time. Bye-bye.